Okay, so today I'm going to be doing a review on this Windows tablet. Um, I know all these Android tablet and iPad 3 is all the rage right now, but if you're a Windows guy like me, I mean I respect Apple for making the touchscreen uh, become famous, but you still can't beat Windows for actually doing stuff, actual work. I mean, um, I know you can argue on that uh, that comment, but I don't really care. I have Apple product, but at the end of the day, my main computing, not main computing, but my computing, I want to do it on Windows platform. So this is a Windows tablet. Um, it's running Windows 8, the consumer preview uh, edition. And the actual tablet is made by, uh, sorry for the, all the handprint, obviously, but it's actually made by, where is it, there. Asus, that's an EP121 model. Um, here's the back shot. You get the heating grill, um, that's about it. Um, here's this side, you get a speaker on both sides. So this is speaker, and that's about it on this side. And then you get two USB port. If my uh, thing zooms up, obviously. So you get two USB port, um, mic, and uh, headphone both together in one port. Micro S uh, HDMI, volume up down, and DC in. That's it. The battery life is about four to five hours, uh, which is one of the negative uh, con about this one. Other than that, it's a great uh, tablet, which I'm going to show you in a moment. Uh, this EP121 version I have only come with the 32 gig SSD, uh, which is a pretty small on the, I mean, it's pretty smaller side, but whatever. Um, if you can get it, get the 64 uh, gigabyte version, I mean 32 gig, that's what I'm trying to say, the SSD. So try to get the 64 gig version if you can of the EP121 but um, yeah and this is the SD card reader and then on the top you have the camera right there and then the power switch um, the tilt on and off like lock and uh, if you press this it's supposed to get the on screen keyboard but Windows 8, this is for Windows 7, so Windows 8, you don't need that, it doesn't work, I'm pretty sure. Okay, so let me show you how fast this thing boots from cold. So right now, this is shut down, meaning it's not in sleep mode, uh, it's not on at all. So let me turn it on, so set your clock, ready, one, two, three. This is cold booting Windows 8, which is running on Windows 7, basically. That's it. You're in. And I'm going to log in. Just, you know, logging in, so I just want to show you my... Okay, so... I mean, I obviously changed uh, how the Windows 8 thing looked like. But as you can see, very smooth. Um, I changed it to monochromatic uh, display. Oh, by the way, the display is using Wacom uh, digitizer screen, so it's really smooth. This is not your uh, typical touchscreen. This is much, much more sensitive. Um, yeah, let me just change the settings to... Uh, what the thing actually looks like normally. Uh, ease of access, can change it back to. Yeah, this is the refresh rate. So my camera's refresh rate and the screen's refresh rate is not syncing. That's why it looks like that. Um, so I'm gonna go back to monochromatic so it's easier to see. Um, go back into the main tile. So, so this is what it looked like, as you can see. 
very smooth and you can launch applications just like that as I can show you let me close it right there um, touch this side so it's really hard to do with one hand that's why it looked like I'm clumsy um, but in real life this is very snappy so you want to go to a desktop so you're in a tablet metro style mode you want to go to desktop hit the desktop bam you're in the desktop um, yeah like uh, so let's say you want to play um, oh, let's say you want to read a comic so CD display this is 12.1 inch screen by the way so it's pretty big um, Load file. Just gonna look for. Yeah, so this is some kind of table tennis manga. Uh, let me just change the option here. Rotate. Okay, so anyway, um, so now you can see you can tilt it because it's easier to read it. Um, if you want to know what settings I'm using in CDI display, I'll happy to let you know. Again, the screen looks like this because the refresh rate and the frame rate is not matching, that's all. Um, I don't know what I did. Oh yeah, remember now, double tap to next page. As you can see, the manga looks very crisp and clear. You know, this is like reading a real manga. This is because the resolution is very high. This is way over HD. This is, I mean, over 720p. This is 800, I believe, um, for the resolution. So that's pretty good. Yeah, as you can see, very, very good uh, for quality. And uh, if you want to read a comic book, let me load a file here. How to do upside down? Let me go option, rotate, um, all image, left. Okay, so you want to read full color comic book? No problem. Bam. Again, this is a Windows tablet, so this is running Windows fully. You wanna you wanna go do something else? Well, whatever. No problem. There's no this is Core i5 CPU running dual core, 4 gig RAM. Um, this is a full blown computer. Yeah, and then you have your desktop, run WinDRAR, whatever, any application you want. Uh, you want to go to the, you know, multitasking code. This is Windows, nothing new. Um, right now there's no internet, that's why it's not it's saying this page is not available, but anyway. Um, yeah, so you get the point. I just launched the Chrome, close it out. Okay, you're done with the Windows stuff. You want to go back to easy app stuff, app environment? Why not? Uh, let me just switch it back to um, monochromatic, so you can make it so that's easy to see on the eye. Okay, let's put it back. Yeah, I think this looks really cool. Um, I don't know. Let's launch a game. This came free with it. Oh, you get the point. Okay, let's go back. If you want to toggle between open app, just go like this. Game. Settings. You want to kill an app. Um, Terminate an application, Taskmaster, kill whatever you want. Let's say I want to cut the rope, end it. Um, let me see the image displayer, end it, and so on and so forth. Okay, so let's go back in there. Uh, obviously, it has full integration with the Xbox Live right there. So you have Gamertag, 
um, playing game here will get you achievements in your um, Xbox Live, so that's amazing if you're into that kind of stuff. You got your calculator, notepad, you know, whatever app you want to pin on this uh, main tile, you can do so, no problem. Um, you can rearrange them, like, hold it down. So it's re again, it's hard to show you with one hand because I can't see what I'm doing properly. Okay, let me hold this one down. As you can see, you can drag and drop wherever you want to put it back. I think I took it from here, so I'm going to put it back right there. You can control, yeah, so, I mean, this is a beta program still, but, yeah, so, as you can see, um, Windows 8 is great if you have a tablet like this. Now, if you want to run it on a normal desktop computer, it's totally useless, because it's basically Windows 7, so, unless Windows 8 somehow, may, uh, once it's released, is somehow much more efficient than Windows 7, uh, in a desktop mode, then definitely recommend getting it. But if you're planning on getting a Windows tablet like me in the future, um, definitely give it a thumbs up. You know, you got your Windows, you got your uh, cheap uh, tablet stuff. So you have the best of both worlds. You don't have to worry about uh, whether someone's gonna make an app for your stuff. It's a Windows. So download the program, run the software, uh, install it, do whatever you want with it or compile your own, that's it. You don't have to wait for someone to uh, make an app for you, okay? Because um, a lot of the apps are basically a bookmark to things, which you can just do it easily uh, on Windows. Um, I know they're easy and whatever, but anyway, you get the point. Um, again, like I said, I still like iPad and Android tablet, but I'm a Windows guy, so give it a thumbs up, leave a comment below, let me know what you guys think. And uh, thank you for watching, and see you on the next video. Oh yeah, before I go, I almost forgot. Um, obviously, it's a Wacom digitizer screen, so beside the touch screen, you can also use the actual digitizer pen for more uh, sensitive uh, control, I should say. Yeah, because um, obviously, you know, if you want to write something and erase it, because this thing does hand handwriting recognition, no problem. Um, and it's really good at that too. Uh, Microsoft uh, improved their handwriting recognition uh, at least uh, 50, 100 times better than their uh, previous uh, generation. Um, which uh, brings back to one more thing I wanted to show you, uh, for those of you that are wondering. Again, uh, booting from cold very fast, as you can see. Uh, let me just log into my account. Sorry, I'm just hiding my password. That's all here. Nothing new. Um, yeah, so I'm in from cold, as you can see. Wow, like. Anyway, sorry. I'm just excited. I never had Windows this fast. Also, probably because of SSD, but here we go. Uh, Alright, so let's say we. Okay, let's just open up a text file editor. That's my notepad. So I'll just make it bigger. Again, I'm doing this uh, blindly, so I can't see properly. What the heck am I doing? Okay. Again, you want to make this screen big. It's hard to do it with hand. Press it. Sorry, I'm going to do it with my right hand here. I'm not uh, left-handed. Yes. Okay, so make it big. And let's say you want to write then we launch the keyboard. Right now it's set up so that uh, you know when you're holding this on your lap or sitting down you can type like your um, QWERTY keyboard like here, this thumb, space key is right there and then this key. So th even though this is a 12.1 inch you can have you know you can easily type with your thumb which which what I find um, is probably the easiest if you're uh, in a position where you can put this on a piece of tape like on a table like if you're holding it down, uh, like you're standing up or in a line or in the bus or whatever, um, this is the easiest uh, keyword um, layout. So, um, yeah, so let me just type here. Quick pop up menu. You can, s like, again, you hit this uh, between English, different languages. Uh, my I also have Japanese because sometimes I write Japanese comments and things like that or whatever. Um, 
let's say you want to go to the normal keyboard that's your big uh, full screen keyboard um, you can also have the option for um, this thing right here handwriting recognition so let me quickly show you how good it is so let's say I want to write again this might not work as good as I'm thinking because I'm doing it with one hand um, P U Puka. Well, that works. Uh, let's say I want to write cursive. P U K. Yeah. Wonder if that works. Uh, no. Because my handwriting sucks. Let's do a proper one. P U. K, K, E. Okay, so this time it worked. So if you write shit <laughs> like me, uh, you get that result. But if you write proper cursive and proper block letter, then handwritten writing recognition is very good. So um, let me see. This is a cat as you can see I wrote cursive again I'm really slow because I'm doing it with one hand but like with the holding the camera but yeah as you can see the cursive handwritten recognition is so uh, very good yeah that's what uh, you get when you have a proper uh, digitizer pen and uh, it's uh, made by Wacom technology here you go so let's switch it back to your recorded keyboard uh, where does that go? Right there. And then uh, you're done with it. Close the thing. It's probably asking me to save something, most likely. Don't save. Uh, put the pen back up there. You're done. You want to switch back to your easy browsing mode. And you're in a tablet. So, who said Windows can't do tablet? It can. It can, in fact. Uh, you know, merge the good and bad of both worlds, and uh, you get, you know, you can, you get the, get the desktop, you also get your normal tablet stuff, and the game, and Xbox Live. Yeah, so Windows tablet definitely win for me. Um, I don't know about you, but hey, once again, thank you for watching, and see you in the next video.